Hello everyone, this is Reshu. Today I'm going to be talking about my online teaching experience and I, I'm going to tell you some tricks and tips by which you can actually be a really good online teacher. So let me tell you something about myself. I was teaching in Vietnam in a classroom setting and after the pandemic actually I had to came back home and at the time actually I started teaching online. But I found out later that teaching online is quite different from teaching in a classroom setting because I was quite well versed in teaching in a classroom setting but uh, that was the first time I actually started teaching online and I found myself a couple of times in a weird situation that you know I was not able to connect with the student and I was not able to do a lot of things online because if you know if you are a teacher you know that if you teach in a classroom, you can prepare your class, you can plan everything. But if you are teaching online, sometimes you got to be more creative, uh, you know, while teaching. So that was the first experience I had to face and that was a really good, bad experience for me. So, okay, without any further ado, I'm going to be telling you that how you can actually use different tools to make yourself more creative while teaching online. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to be telling you different types of teachers, right? So I'm going to be starting with three different types of teachers. So let's start. So basically there are three types of teachers. First is robotic, then meticulous, and third type is enthusiastic. Hello David, how are you? I'm good, thank you for asking. So let's start the lesson. So repeat after me. What's your name? What's your name? Good job. Hi, hello David. I'm your teacher for today. How are you today? Okay. All right, so we're gonna start the lesson now, all right? So repeat after me. What's your name? All right, one more time. What's your name? What's your name? Okay, good job. Good job, David. Hi, hello David. How are you today? Good job, yeah, 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 right, 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 yeah, okay. How are you today? Okay, all right. So let's start the lesson, okay? All right, good job, okay, yes, yeah, 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 right. Okay, so repeat after me. What's your name? What's your name? Okay, good job, give me a high five, high five. I'm gonna be telling you about basic things that you need while you start teaching online. So first thing you need is your PC or laptop. I think laptop is more convenient for you. And you need a laptop with good specification, means you should have good RAM and memory and everything should be good. It should be fast enough so that you can actually proceed to teach online. If it's slow, you're gonna be in mess while teaching, okay? Second thing you need is your headset. Okay, I would recommend you to buy a proper headset. I know a lot of teachers just started teaching with their mobile headset. That is a very basic headset and that's not good, of good quality. Okay, so you have to buy, you have to spend some money in your headset and buy a good headset. So I would recommend you to buy a USB headset. Uh, USB headset looks something like this. So it's not like a pin headset. It's a USB. So because uh, USB headset is quite better than the pin headset, right? Uh, so you can see I have a gaming headset actually. It's quite good uh, because it's a noise can cancellation headset. So for example, if there are some kind of noises outside, you can actually reduce those noises through this headset. So you, the, your student not gonna be hearing all the background noise that's coming from outside okay also my headset has a different feature that it has a mute button here all right so for example if i'm teaching and i have to cough in the middle <coughs> or i have to sneeze or i have to do something i just press this mute button so that student is not able to hear me at that time and i just press this mute button i <coughs> cough and i unmute that so that's kind of handy future for me actually because a lot of time while I'm teaching, I, I cough a lot, I do a lot of other things. So, uh, you know, it's quite handy. You just press a button, <clears throat> do your thing and just unmute it. So it's going to be really handy. You can find this uh, headset uh, on Amazon or any other site uh, or find the USB one, right? Okay. Then another thing you need is a green screen. If you, if you can see on my background, 
and this is a green curtain we call it green screen okay why do you need it i'm going to tell you later when i start telling you about different softwares and tools that you can use while teaching okay so you need this green screen again you this, you can find this green screen on amazon or any other site it's not very expensive guys what you need you need an initial investment while you start teaching right this has said gonna cost you some dollars green skin is very cheap it's not really costly you don't have to buy a very expensive or luxurious green skin buy a simple green skin like it's like a curtain you know and what you have to do then you have to get a string tie tie a string from one corner to another and just put the green screen on that right so you can do any kind of setup i i mean to say you have to put a green curtain behind you like a green screen and so that every uh, all of your background is covered with this curtain uh, how are you gonna do you got you gotta find it out i think you got you guys are smart enough to do that right okay then what else you need okay if your laptop doesn't have a camera inbuilt camera you can buy an external camera that's okay and you can actually attach the, the external camera on your laptop and you can also start teaching with that all right so these are the basic requirements you need while you start teaching so first i'm going to be telling you about three software that you can use while teaching online so uh, anyway i'm going to give you all the links in the description and you can actually find those links in the description so download those softwares uh, okay, so first software is Manicam. All right, if you go to the website here, so Manicam is a really nice software, right? Uh, however, it's a paid software, but don't worry, I'm gonna provide the software for free. All right, if you want to buy the software, I mean, you can buy the software for free. I mean, uh, if you go there, click on buy now uh this is a software uh, you can use it like you can pay 27 dollar for for one year and you can get all the features right and it's up to you if you want to spend some money if you really are into online teaching you can spend some money and buy it legally you can also use a trial version or a free version but uh, if you're gonna use the free version it doesn't have all the features and it's gonna have its uh, watermark on this so when you teach online student can see the watermark of many camps so i don't recommend it uh, i don't really recommend to use a free version so instead i'm gonna provide you this software for free i'm gonna put a link in the description right so okay so many camp and then i have another software uh, that is webcam max okay i'm gonna put it in google webcam max i'm not sure if it's a paid one or maybe it's a paid software so webcam max okay so yeah this is also a paid software uh, so you can also buy it if you want but don't worry i'm gonna provide the software for free to you guys right and then we have another software that is OBS Studio. And this is actually a free software. This is an open software. You can download it for free for Windows, for Mac, for Linux, right? And you can use it for free. However, you need to have some technical know-how to use this software because if you're not a very technical person, it's quite difficult for you to use this software. So. I wouldn't recommend this software to you guys if you are not much aware or if you're not much well versed with technology because it's gonna be quite difficult to use this software but uh, if you want some easy software that you can use you can use manicam and web webcam max and i'm gonna provide all this software for free okay so okay i'm gonna go through this software one by one i'm gonna start with manicam which i use while teaching this is my favorite software because it has all the features in it okay so let me open the software first for you guys so this is the interface of this manicam software so what you have to do you have to start the software and there are many features in there right so first what you have to do you have to go to presets and you have to select your camera 
so if you are using your inbuilt camera you can select the inbuilt if you are using an external camera you can select here right so choose your camera you're gonna be uh, shown up on this many cam camera software right so you can see I that I'm visible on the screen all right then you can go to video and there are a lot of settings so I'm gonna go to some main feature right you can also go to audio and select the audio input device right if you're using a headset or any kind of mic you have to select the audio device here right okay so first I'm gonna go with the I'm gonna start with draw feature right draw feature actually allow you to draw anything on the screen so for example uh, you are teaching right so you're gonna be shown up like this like I'm being shown here all right what you can do you can click on the pen and you can draw anything on the screen like this if you can see you can draw any kind of thing you want to do right and you can show to your student so student gonna show everything what you're gonna show to him and he gonna see you and he also gonna see everything that which you're doing on the screen right so you can undo it uh, for example if I draw a bowl with different color right uh, I go I'm gonna go to fill I will select the feature fill I will okay so this is a very basic feature basically you can draw anything on the screen and I mean it's gonna it's really good if you want to explain something if you're gonna draw something it's a really good feature you can use this feature anytime okay then we have another feature timer okay if you want to set some timer for example I set a stopwatch right so for example a student has to read a paragraph and you set a stopwatch and I say three two one go and start that stopwatch and you're gonna see the timer here so right once you start reading you can stop the time anytime you can also set the clock here so that it's gonna show you the time current time from your country right so it's gonna show you the current time here uh, also you can set another timer like say I've set a timer for two minutes I'm gonna start it and the countdown starts here right so you know after uh, when the two minutes are over it's gonna show to the student student actually can see your screen everything on the screen so you don't have to worry about anything okay I'm gonna turn it off okay another feature is chroma key chroma key okay so if you remember I was talking about this green screen okay why I talked about this green screen because this green screen will allow you to change your background let me show you how okay so you can see I've changed my background I can put any background behind behind me right so what I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna go to custom background from here right and uh, you can download a picture from the internet any beautiful picture whatever you want right so for example I've downloaded this beautiful picture from the internet I'm gonna put this picture behind my background or in my background actually so okay you can see I've changed my background so my background is quite beautiful it's not like a boring background you can hide everything you can keep your background clutter free and through this feature this feature is called chroma key you can change your background anytime you can put any picture behind you but for that you need green screen you have to set up a green screen behind you okay then okay let me remove this then okay then we have uh, this lower third so this is something like if you turn it on just a moment oh. okay so this is actually if you have to write a notice for example you can write it my name is Rishu okay and okay so if I turn it on uh, okay and
So if you turn it on, it's going to show you like a notice, you know, like a note that your student can see that, okay, your name is Richard. So you can use it if you want. Uh, this is a very handy feature as well. Uh, you can put anything on the screen. You can write anything on the screen and show it as a notice to a student. Okay, so I'm going to turn it off. Then we have another. Okay, this is a very beautiful feature. So I'm going to show you everything. There are different effects that you can use while teaching. Okay, so I'm going to start with very basic effects. Okay, so let me go to some effects. So for example, I can put a monkey on the screen, right? Like, you know, <laughs> monkey is doing something. Okay, I have downloaded all the numbers. One, two, three, right? Or you can show anything like you can show a ball here right you can also show something else like this robot piglet flower a dancing girl right there are a lot of features here right also what you can do that if your student answer a question, so this is how I do, especially with small students, because if they answer any kind of question, I give them a star. So how I'm gonna give a star? So I say, oh, you answered the question correctly. I'm gonna give you a star and I will give you a star like this. Okay, one star and then you can, there are many stars. So I give another star here. Then I have some more star. I'm gonna give a big star to my student like this one let me show you mm, where's the star just a moment right you can arrange all these star like in a group or something so, so that you don't have to really find it so for example i give this star like a shining star you know golden star so you know and then you can also give one mm, dancing star like this you know, so if you give them star like as a reward, the, you, the small kids or student gonna be really happy when they answer any question and you give them one star, two star, three star, they're gonna be really happy, you know, so you can actually use all these features. And also, I'm gonna show you a lot of things, right? You can find all this feature later, like when you download the software and you can actually explore the software by yourself. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to show you everything, but I'm going to show you basic features. So, for example, face mask. So, for example, I can be a ghost or something. Okay, so for example, like this, I've, I've changed. I've become a Halloween now, right? So, okay, let me become Donald Trump. Hello, I'm Donald Trump. How are you today? I'm no more the president of the US Biden is the next president but I'm gonna be competing after four years as a next president okay all right so I was just having fun all right so yeah you can change your face uh, you can put it like a mask see my horns like this see so <laughs> make sure that your st student not gonna be scared by this right you have to make sure so right i'm going to show you something else like distortion for example like this you can change your face oh my god my face have become smaller like a clown right i'm going to create an image like hi hey, hello meet my twin brother here okay oh where's my face oh my god okay right so there are a lot of features actually you can create some flames oh i'm burning here oh my god so actually there are tons of features in the software. This is my favorite software, guys. You can use this, you can actually explore by yourself. And this roller, this is gonna be really great. Okay, I'm gonna I'm not gonna show you all the features. There are a lot of features you can keep keep exploring all day. So okay, this is one of the software. You can use it. Uh, I'm gonna provide the software for free at the end of the video. Don't skip this video, okay? If you're gonna skip this, you're gonna you're not gonna get this video for free or you're not gonna get this software for free okay all right i'm gonna close this video not not with, with this video i'm gonna close this software okay let me so now i'm gonna show you another software uh this is quite similar to many cam and actually it's quite easy to use for you guys uh, because i think many cam is 
way difficult to install i'm going to show you the process to install how you're going to do the installation process but if you want an easy installation this is another software all right so i see like there are different features in that all right so you can also use this software for other things right it has also really unique features like it has distortion I, i'm gonna go to emotions okay <laughs> so you can have a lot of fun with all this software actually you know so i'm not gonna oh what is that my <laughs> nose is bleeding okay this is funny so you gotta remove from here all right okay like this let me show you some more software faces mm. okay so i become a cartoon I become a Doraemon. Okay, filters, a lot of filters like this. You can change the color, frames, scenes, get more. Okay, I don't have to get more, that's okay. Uh, let's close this. Okay, you can download more if you want okay i just got the hell out of here okay background animation like oh <laughs> make sure you're not gonna put all this animation that's quite vulgar <laughs> bikini girl okay so yeah i mean you can use all this feature right and actually i've not checked all the features here because i use many cam most of the time but this is another software if you want to use uh, I think this is a drawing feature like what I showed to you before. Mm. And I'm not sure if you can change the background in there, but I'm sure you can do with it. But I'm not actually explored this software a lot. So you can actually find all the feature why by own okay so yeah so this is also a very nice survey i'm gonna close it now okay all right so these are two software i'm gonna provide it provide them for free uh, you can download those software using my link below and i'm also gonna show you how you're gonna install these software because the installation process is gonna be a little bit difficult also if you are a mac user i'm sorry because you can't really use all this software these are cracked software and if you are a window user then only you can use this software if you are a mac user i don't know how you're gonna use those software right so uh my bad for that okay my bad so uh, okay but if you are a mac user or linux or windows you can also use one of the software that is obs studio i'm gonna put the link so what you have to do you have to you can download this software by clicking on this link all right uh, if you click on this link um, actually yeah you can download from here so i've already downloaded and installed this software so i'm gonna show you the interface okay i'm gonna open this software as well obs studio okay, we're gonna take some time please be patient patience is the key you know i know this uh, this video is gonna be quite long maybe 30 minutes or maybe more but I'm sure that after this video, you will have a lot of ideas while teaching online and you won't be a boring teacher like me. You know, I was, a, I was quite a boring teacher. I mean, I was not a robotic teacher. I was not a very enthusiastic teacher. I was like in the middle, like a meticulous teacher, meticulous, you know. So, I mean, I can be creative, but I'm not a kind of teacher who actually, you know, really enth enthusiastic, can do a lot of things. I'm not like that kind of teacher so actually that doesn't come you know some teachers are inborn you know just they have inborn talent they can do anything like they can be jump they can be jumping around they can move around i can't do all those things because i don't know <laughs> i'm kind of introvert person <laughs> so okay anyway so this is the another survey obs studio this survey is quite uh it's totally free you can download it for free and you have to actually set a lot of things right so you have to put uh, you have to set everything you have to set your audio video video window capture right so for example if you go there and I select 
okay this is window capture actually so if I go to this many cam video capture video source okay so I'm gonna turn it to the normal one okay and okay so it's not gonna show show right now because uh, I've kind of uh, because I've been using my uh, webcam for recording so yeah it's actually quite complicated I'm uh, uh, if you want to learn how you can use this uh, software I can I think you can find a lot of YouTube video regarding OBS Studio how to set up everything and how you can use it while uh, teaching online or for any kind of like if you do video calling so you can use this software OBS Studio you can actually uh, see some YouTube tutorial I'm not gonna show you everything so yeah as I, as I told you this is a very complicated software to use so I'm gonna uh, uh, anyway I'm gonna skip the software so these are the software actually that you can use uh, I've just told you about three software my recommended one is uh, ManyCam because it has a lot of features but also uh, because if you're gonna use this software you have the installation process is gonna be a little bit diff uh, difficult for you guys right that I'm gonna show you later okay so what I've just told you and if you think that's gonna be quite difficult for you to set up everything because I know some of you guys are not from IT background and you some of you guys are not very well versed with technology so I know that it's gonna be quite difficult for you to use all this software for me it's quite easy because I'm from IT background so I can use this software anytime but I know some of you guys might be thinking oh it's not it's of no use because it's quite, gonna be quite different quite difficult for me so for you you can actually I think a lot of people already know about this technique this technique is called TPR total physical response total physical response is nothing some actions and gestures you do while teaching so you can you're gonna find a lot of a tons of YouTube video online through which you can learn how to teach online how you can actually do some TPR activities while teaching online so I'm gonna show you some basic TPR actions for example if you say uh, hello so you have to wave your hand like this hello especially if you're teaching a kid uh, whose age is four to five years old because kids attention uh, time is quite short you know so they're not gonna be paying attention for a long time so it's it's your responsibility to actually make them engaged for a long time so you say hello or goodbye and if they answer something like yes do you like it yes no right and okay like if they answer something okay right and they're good job or great something like that okay so these are our TPR action actually you're gonna learn a lot just uh, search some YouTube video regarding TPR okay then you can play some games so my favorite game is touch your body part so what I do that uh, I uh, give them command I say touch your nose head eyes ears mouth and they're gonna follow me all right after that I I say the same command and I change my action so I say nose mouth and they're gonna follow me and I say head and I say ears right so I do the different action but I say the different command right so this is how you're gonna trick them so they're gonna really like it this is my favorite game they always like this game so they're gonna be really cheerful really happy when I play this game every time okay second game is uh, Simon Says Simon Says is a really popular game I think so you can say Simon Says stand up Simon said sit down Simon says uh, turn around right you can say anything and when you say sit down or uh, stand up right so they don't have to do any action they have to do action when you say Simon says right so this is also a very nice game you can actually follow that so these are different tips and tricks that you can teach uh, th sorry that you can do while teaching online right I mean if you don't want to do use this software if you think that's gonna be quite difficult for you guys you can use all these TPR activities and games so it's, go it's really gonna help you guys to engage your students while you are teaching them online 
Okay, now we come to the important part that how you're gonna find these software for free and how you're gonna download them and how you're gonna install them. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna provide the link uh, in my description so you can find all the links. So, okay, I'm gonna show you how you can actually download. So for example, uh, you can go to the description, you can find the link, click on that link, it's gonna uh, open something like this. Right, you're gonna see something like this, you have to click on that, uh, click on download. Okay, and you can download this software. Okay, this is gonna be a zip file. So what you have to do first, you have to download this. I'm gonna show you how you can download. Okay, it's gonna take some time. Uh, so you have to download this file. Uh, similar to that, if you have to download another software that is Webcam Max, you have to click on the link in the description and then yeah and you can have to click on these three dots and click on download and it's gonna download this software as well oh this is not my okay sorry this is many cam so not many cam actually uh, webcam okay so I've already downloaded software. let me show you this was a many cam software and uh, this is this is the webcam right click on three dots and click on download it's gonna download it uh, these are zip files okay so once you download the software right you have to click on open okay okay first uh, because this is a zip file uh, you need a software that is uh, WinRAR okay I'm gonna show you the software WinRAR if you don't have a software in your laptop you can download the software for free so what you have to do you have to download the software from this link i'm gonna put this link in the description so uh, after you download the software install it uh, then you have to download many cam file from the link and once you download it you have to open so uh, once you open the zip file or you can also extract that file uh, once you extract uh, it's gonna uh, extract it into a folder so you have to open this folder okay what you have to do first you have to click on this many cam setup this is a setup file you have to click on that right and you have to install it okay i'm gonna show you the instruction here okay uh, you have to click on this file read first so what, what you have to do you have to install many cam first right once you install it you have to close it from the tray okay so what you have to do uh if the software is you don't have to launch the software first you have to close it from here okay you can go there and right click on the software and you have to close it then what you have to do uh, also you have to open the task manager i'm going to show you right and you have to look for many cam okay you see that there's a many cam process here right so you have to end this process so you have to end this task okay and and everything like if you see something like many cam you have to end all the tasks and process all right once you do that what you have to do you have to click on crack okay and you see many cam.exe file so you have to copy this folder or this file uh, into so you have to go to pc drive c program file and many cam okay many cam folder here right and what you have to do you have to copy copy and paste this file and i'm going to show you right so like this okay it's going it's going to ask you to replace the file in the destination you have to click yes replace it and that's all right so once you do all this process right close everything and then what you have to do you have to launch this software you're gonna see the icon 
you're gonna see the icon on the desktop or somewhere right so what you have to do you have to launch the software from here right let me show you so it takes some time to start the software so you don't you have to patient a little bit okay all right so yeah see you can open this software all right so it's quite easy and uh, i i know that installation process is a little bit difficult maybe if you are not much into technology or you're not a tech guy it's gonna be difficult but if you follow all the process if just i've just shown to you you can actually install this software easily right once you install it it's, it's just a one-time headache once you do it then you can use it every time and you don't have to worry about anything okay so yeah i'm gonna close this software and okay okay if you found that this software is quite difficult for you to install and download okay so what you can do you can download uh, the webcam max right so webcam max is a quite straightforward software right? for example i download this okay once i download the software click on download it's gonna download it's gonna take some time okay guys uh yeah one more important thing i forgot to tell you that once you install once you have installed all the once you install the manicam software what you have to do there are some more effects okay so what you have to do okay let me show you let me open the software first one more time it was quite important because you're not gonna get all the effects at once so because you have to manually put all the effects so you can see i'm gonna provide you uh, all the effects here right if you go to this folder many cam effects if you're gonna open this there are many effects which have, i have downloaded manually and you have to download this effect you have to put this effect in your software manually how are you gonna do it i'm gonna show it to you guys right now so you have to open many cam first all right so what you have to do actually uh so you have to go to manicam effect right uh so you have to actually download all the feature one by one so for example if you go to uh if you go to object right uh you're gonna sh see an option here like download more so you have to click on that and it's gonna download all the features for you right you have to do it manually also these are some more features so how are you gonna download all these features what you have to do you select a folder like say object and what you have to do select all the feature and drag and drop like this okay and so like for example you have to select all the features and you have to left click drag them into this folder into the manicam software once you drag and drop it it's gonna download install all the software here right not software actually it's gonna install all the features okay so you have to do it manually i know this is a really kind of difficult task for you guys but it's just a one-time setup once you do everything once you are ready to do everything you know once from the next time you don't have to worry worry about it you just have to open the software and you can start using it okay so this is about many cam okay i'm gonna close it okay then you can also so i've just downloaded the another software webcam max you have to open this software this is a very straightforward thing what you have to do here is go to setup file and just click simply click double click and install directly so you don't have to do anything else you just have to install like uh, any other software so this is a way like easy software for you guys to install if you are finding difficult to install many cam you can download this software this software is equally good as many cam
Okay, in the end, I'm gonna leave you guys with a bonus tip. So what you have to do first, you have to go to my channel, subscribe it, then go to my playlist. Once you go to my playlist, you're gonna find this playlist, ESL songs and warm-ups. And actually, I've made a list, a kind of collection of all the songs for kids. So you can find all the different songs, different activities, different kind of warm-up, kind of warm-up songs that you can play when you start your class. Right, so uh, for example, this song. Now, what you have to do, if you want to play a song, or if you want to play any YouTube video, you have to copy this link here. Go to your ManyCam software. Right click on the second tab. Go to YouTube URL. Paste the URL. Right, and you have to click OK. Once you click OK, you have to uh, switch by, uh, switch to another window you have to click on trans and you can see right you can play the song right so and you can also speak right you can unmute yourself so you can also speak so the student can listen to your voice as well as the song and if you don't want your student to listen to your voice you can mute yourself from here Right, so this is also a very handy feature you can play any youtube video and you can share any youtube video uh, you by using this software and you actually the student can see your screen also uh, if you want to play a video which is in your device like you have downloaded a video if you want to play a video you can also go to a file you can select a file from here and you can play a video from your device as well okay and if you want to share your screen with your student you have to go to desktop select full screen and now you can see you can share your screen with your student right so these are very handy feature you can use all these features and that's all for today i hope you guys like the video and i'm gonna see you in my next video thank you have a good day or good night whatever right <laughs>